Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. Today, we will take a look at the latest Jurassic World Dominion Wave 2 action figures. Check them out. Okay guys, so we will be reviewing some of these figures on the table at Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands, okay? Um, Leopold Rudon, this will definitely be reviewed. This is part of the Wave 2. Four new wild pop-ups from the um, Uncaged series, so this Four will definitely go into the box as well. We'll be taking them to level 2 to review. Now, Pseudoceratops, Dematrodon, Rugops Primus, Ampelosaurus, Iguanodon, Sinoceratops, and Megaraptor. The Giganotosaurus, maybe, should we also review this today? Maybe next week, okay? We have some Chupa Chups, Jurassic World Dominion, like, minifigures. All this will be reviewed next week as well, including this which comes with um, really cool minifigures right over here, okay? So some of them will be reviewed next week, so let's go. All right, so basically all the Wave 2 figures are inside this box. So we'll be carrying this box to level 2 to review because we can only scan that, you know, at level 2. Basement, we have no connection, okay? So let's go. Okay, guys, so we will be um, opening and reviewing all these figures right over here because it will be much easier for me to like you know grab hold of um, different comparisons okay so let's, let's go all right guys so let's begin the first figure um let's go with the ampelosaurus the big one this is basically a massive action ampelosaurus looks amazing i love the spikes and the thorns on his body so if you flip it over you can basically see the, um, the same kind of um packaging looks pretty good let's Release this from its cage, okay? Release this from the box. It's cut loose um, the strings. So, yep. Ampelosaurus. It's out of the box. Looks amazing, guys. Okay, so this is basically known as the Vine Lizard. Um, of course, it is a sauropod, as you guys can see. But what is so unique about this sauropod is that it actually has armor in the form of osteoderms, which is very, very amazing. Okay, so let's try this. Massive action. I don't think there's any sounds for this one. Okay, so you can see um, This button actually triggers the jaw. It opens and closes the jaw, which is very very amazing um, You can also twist the tail which will in turn twist the neck Which looks very, very amazing. There are actually two points of articulation on the tail uh, I mean on the neck, which is um, very cool. If you take a look at the teeth Every single tooth is actually nicely painted, which looks very very cool. I love the paint scheme that they have adopted right over here. You can see like a mix of browns. And um, this is like part, uh, I would say this is like a bluish gray paint, which looks very, very cool as well. Okay, so absolutely amazing figure. Let's do a size comparison with the Armagosaurus. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is basically the place where I keep my Amagosaurus. So I'm thinking whether to put the um, Ampelosaurus right over here or should we put it together with the um, Dominion herbivores. Let me know down below, okay? Alright guys, so this is basically the Ampelosaurus and this is the Amagosaurus. If we do a comparison in terms of the length, you can see the uh, Ampelosaurus seems to be slightly longer. If you put them like side by side, you know, with the tail as a starting point, you can see the neck or rather the head of the Ampelosaurus actually, you know, ages the, the Armagosaurus by a little bit. Okay, so in terms of the height as well, you can see they are both quite similar in terms of the height. Amazing stuff. In terms of the body width, uh, I would say the Ampelosaurus possibly edges no 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 I, I think the amagosaurus seems to be thicker <laughs> yep yep so there you go a beautiful amplosaurus let's scan this in our jurassic world facts app as well let me um pull out the um code where's the code it's right over here okay all right maybe you, can, you guys can actually pause the video and scan this in your facts app first before we do so okay okay guys so let's scan the um amplosaurus wow that was fast I didn't even bring, um, you know, the phone even like close to the figure. So there you go. This is basically the Ampelosaurus. Let me turn up the volume. It looks very, very cool, I must say. So let's check out some facts. The weight of three dinosaurs, it is a herbivore and is discovered in um, France. Okay, so going back, 
This is basically the AR feature. Let's try this together. Wow, it's taking some time to actually load. Maybe we'll come back to this later on. Okay, so let's try this again so you can see. Wow, it's really huge, guys. You can't even see the face. It's just like way too close. Yeah, it's way too close. But you can actually reduce the size by just pushing this down. Yeah, so there you go. Beautiful ankle, um, Ampelosaurus. All right, let's move on to our next figure. Let's go. Okay, next up, let's take a look at Lyoplu Rudon, which is right over here, okay? Initially, I thought it was pronounced as a Lyoplu Rudon, but after taking a look at this book right here, it basically says Lyoplu Rudon, okay? It is basically like a, um, you know, prehistoric marine reptile. It's known as the smooth sided tooth which is very very cool okay i you know i didn't I didn't know about such facts so let's get the liaplu rudon out this is basically a raw striker you can see the packaging looks amazing you have the jurassic world logo right here with rexy right over here you flip it back you're able to see other figures from the series which is a mega raptor sonoceratops and iguanodon i'm really excited about the iguanodon as well okay so let's get the um liaplu rudon out from the box let me cut all the strings loose. This one I have to be really careful because it's really close to um, the figure. This one as well. But fortunately, I have a very, very good pair of scissors for like unboxing, so it is cool. Oh, okay, so this is basically the body. This is basically to prevent the battery from, you know, working. So you have to pull this one out. The tail is um, inside, so we need to remove the tail, cut the strings loose. You basically have to assemble the tail on your own, which is um, fun. Let's get the tail out. So you can see the tail actually comes with, um, you know, like a flipper. It's basically like a propeller, I guess. Okay, let's just slot this right in. Yep, easily done. Okay, so this is basically the raw striker. So let me flip the flippers into the um, right direction. So let's take a look at this beautiful marine reptile. So let's try to um, work this. That roar actually sounds like a roar of the um, Sinoceratops, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. I think they basically took some, you know, roars from the previous dinosaurs and um, make some modifications to it. So there you go, a Lyoplo Rudon looks pretty amazing. The paint scheme is a bit on the dull side. You can only see like two sheets of colors right at the top. Of course, the body is actually painted with a very kind of um, uh, yellow, grayish kind of tone. Looks pretty good, I must say. Uh, let's try this again. So once you press the button, the neck will move, the jaw will open up. You're able to rotate all four flippers, rotate them like 360. No problem. You can also lift them up and down like this. Okay, not too sure whether you would like to do that. So, yep, pretty cool one. Okay. Um, let's do a very quick comparison with another Lyoplu Rudon that I have. Okay, this is basically a Collecte Lyoplu Rudon, so you can see. Um, yeah, Lyoplu Rudon is famous for its teeth, which is like pointing like outwards in a very, very random manner so i think the uh, mattel one also captured this so you can see the interior of the tongue is nicely detailed as well you can see some thorns right over here some kind of um thorny like structures uh, on top of his body so that's pretty cool so let's scan this as well this is basically the code for you guys to scan so let's scan this as well let's go okay guys so i didn't manage to capture the scanning part because it was very very sensitive i mean which is a good sign so this is basically what you can find for the um Lyplo rudon so let's see some facts so this i think was discovered in europe as well um it is the weight of a car it weighs around the weight of a car and um of course it fits on uh, marine animals as, as well okay the um ar feature let's see really huge one Really beautiful, so tap on it, it will roar for sure, you can actually rotate it as well. Very, very beautiful. Okay, let's do a very quick comparison with some other marine reptiles from Jurassic World, let's go. 
Okay, um, what I can think of is basically the um, plesiosaurus. So let's get one of the plesiosaurus out from um, the display shelf. Should we also take a look at the uh, mosasaurus? Probably not. That is like way too big. So let's go. Right, so this is basically the um, Liopleurodon and this is basically the um, Plesiosaurus side by side. I think they should be in scale, I'm not exactly sure, but if you take a look at this, the size comparison of a Liopleurodon versus a Mosasaurus, yeah, I think, um, yeah, Liopleurodon was less than 25 feet and the Mosasaurus was like more than 50 feet, so I think this is actually in scale if I'm not wrong, okay? Uh, let's just take a look at one last look at this again. Okay, the tail is basically like rotatable as well. So we can press this again. Pretty cool, but I feel that the roars are actually the roars of a land dinosaur, okay? Not like a sea monster. Yeah, so that's kind of weird to me. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the next figure. How about let's go with the um, Iguanodon. I think the Iguanodon is one that I'm really, really excited about because it is another duck built dinosaur. We have like Parasaurolophus, we have Edmontosaurus, we also have, um, uh, what is that, Oranosaurus. So this is actually our fourth duck built dinosaur, which is awesome. Okay, so let's get the uh, Iguanodon up from the box. Just a quick look at the box again. Basically the same packaging, of course, you have the Pyroraptor always on um, the side of the box, which is awesome. Uh, actually like that um, illustration so let's see how we can actually get this out so there's a string right here which is kind of tricky because it is in a very very um okay challenging angle so let's try this seems to be only one I think there is another um, thing holding on to the bottom of the feet I think so you need to get it out so let's try this Okay, I finally got the um, Iguanodon up after like, you know, totally destroying the box. There are basically like two pins, you know, below the feet. So you need to like uh, loosen them and um, take them out. So this is basically the Iguanodon. Oops, we have forgotten about the tail, which is right over here. So um, let's remove the strings. Let's cut the strings loose. I think this one, we don't need to cut it off. Just need to like... Yeah, there you go. So that's a beautiful tail of the Iguanodon, okay? So let's pop the tail in. Easily done. Beautiful Iguanodon, guys. But in terms of the colors, I can... I mean, I can honestly tell you that I definitely prefer it to be slightly, you know, more vibrant. Maybe different shades would be even better. Not too sure about you guys, but... Yeah, I definitely prefer my dinosaurs to be slightly more colorful. So this is basically the Raw Striker Iguanodon. I think it's um, an amazing sculpt, an amazing figure to actually have. So let's try this. Why is it not working, the sounds? Hmm, that's very, very weird. I have no idea why the sounds are not working. Hmm, this is very weird. I'm not sure whether there is like a plastic stock be below or something like that, but maybe we can check it out later on. Okay guys, so I've basically, you know, replaced the batteries, I've um, changed it up, I've, you know, checked it out, but it's still not working, so I'm definitely going back to the seller and, um, you know, maybe hoping the seller can give me like a replacement, but yeah, the rods are not working, but you can take a look at this, it looks pretty cool. But I'm not too sure about the neck. The neck seems to be very long for an Iguanodon. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Let's do a quick comparison with other dark built dinosaurs, okay? Let's go. Okay, guys, so a um, question for you guys. Should we be putting our Iguanodon right here along with the Oranosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and, um, and Edmontosaurus, or should we place it along with, you know, Therizinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Triceratops and a Miragayer from you know, Jurassic World Dominion. I want you guys to comment down below, okay? Okay guys, so these are basically three other species of dark built dinosaurs sitting right over here. Before we take a look at them, check this out. Some facts about the Iguanodon, which is known as um, uh, the Iguana Tooth right over here. It basically is quite a tall dinosaur, 6 to 10 meters long and the height can be like 5 meters with his head raised 
which is very very um, cool and tall really tall you know herbivore and it weighs about four to five tons which is incredible okay so let's do a very quick comparison this is basically the Paris Rollifers so in terms of the size you can see they are pretty much similar I think the Iguanodon yeah I think even for the length it's almost identical let's do a comparison with Oranosaurus of course the Oranosaurus is much taller with this very big sail this is basically the um what is this called um raw, raw attack I think Yep, in terms of the length, I would say, yes, almost identical in terms of, in terms of the length as well. This is basically the Edmontosaurus. So let's do a size comparison. Edmontosaurus seems to be wider, seems to be thicker in size. The length seems to be slightly long as well, slightly longer, maybe by like, you know, half a cm, yeah, maybe one centimeter, you can see. But let's do a comparison in terms of the uh, the mouth. You can see they are all quite similar. They are all known as um, dark built dinosaurs. Okay, so this is basically our new iguanodon. I'm happy to have this figure, but yeah, it's kind of sad that it doesn't work when it comes to the raw. So I'm hoping to get a replacement for this from the seller. Okay, so let's proceed to our next figure. I think let's go with the um, mega raptor. Okay, the next figure, let's take a look at the Raw Striker Mega Raptor, okay? Um, I think this dinosaur right here is actually quite special because the name actually means you uh, giant teeth. It was initially thought to be like, you know, closely related to the Allosaurus, but paleontologists actually thought they are more closely related to Tyrannosaurus and also Coelosaurus, okay? Yeah, so that could be some relation to like the T-Rex, you know, theropods like um, T-Rex, I mean Tyrannosaurus and Silurus, yeah? So let's get this figure out from his box. You know, once again, beautiful illustrations. Um, where is my scissors? Okay, right over here. So let's see. Um, is this like tied to the bottom of the box again? Wow, that is kind of, um, I don't like this because you have to like rip open the, the box. So let's do this. Okay guys, so I'm not really like a, um, you know, collector of boxes. I mean, at least not for this figure. So yeah, I have to like destroy the box. I, I know some of you guys actually, you know, love to collect the boxes, but not for me because otherwise my entire house will be filled with um, too many figures. All right, the torso is actually out except for the tail so let's get this out we just need to cut one of the strings loose the other one can be removed quite easily by just like you know tilting it out so there you go you can see this it's basically the tail of the mega raptor you can see it is like feathered you can see like primary and um, secondary feathers which is amazing so let's pop in the tail okay there you go I think this should be the um yeah I think it should be this direction. Nope. Top part right over here. Looks very very beautiful. It reminds me, yes, it does remind me of the Allosaurus, but if you take a look at the claw, this claw right here actually kind of um reminds me of the Baryonyx. The Baryonyx is actually known as the heavy claw, so this is basically a mega raptor. Our first Mega Raptor in our entire you know dinosaurs collection. Okay, so let's check this out. Raw Striker Mega Raptor. Alright. Fortunately, this figure, the Raws are working, so that's pretty cool. Okay, wow, what I like about this is actually you can see some better scars on his body, so it's uh, pretty nice. If you flip it over, um this is this is I think I don't think this is better scars. I mean, on um, a second look, it doesn't seem to be better scars. It just seems to be part of the feather feathering. Okay, very very beautiful. You can see it. I love the patterns that it um it has on his face, and you can see the eyes are so nicely painted. Very beautiful orange paint with a uh, black pupil. Uh, is that is that a core pupil? It's basically like a little slit that looks like a, a raptor. You can, you are able to move the arms. You can move them up and down beautiful the toe claws aren't painted i mean as well as the um claws but i really love the, uh, what they have done on the feathering right over here you can basically see like 
um, some scales as well as some feathers over here. Looks amazing. Okay. Very cool. Oh, we have yet to scan the Iguanodon as well as the Mega Raptor, right? Okay, so this is basically the code for you guys to scan um, for the Mega Raptor. Okay, so pause the video, you can scan it. All right. And uh, let's also take a look at the code for the um, Iguanodon. So let's take a look at this. Beautiful. All right, let's scan the Iguanodon. Let me just put this right over here since sometimes the scanning is just like so fast. So maybe this time we'll be able to capture it, you know, very fast as well. So let's go. Let's turn on the um, scan mode. Let's see. Yeah, it, you see, it's so fast right now. So this is basically the Iguanodon. I think even for the 3D model, you can see the neck is also very long. So Iguanodon, what? I mean, I was supposed to like press the facts, but yeah, there you go. A 3D figure of the um, Iguanodon. Let's take a look at the facts. It basically weighs the weight of about four cows. The diet, of course, you know, it is a herbivore and is discovered in, uh, what is this region? I think this is like um, Europe region. Okay, beautiful. Let's scan the uh, Megaraptor right now. Megaraptor is known as Giant Teeth. In case that you guys have um, forgotten, I'll put this right here. Let's scan this again. Okay, this time is oh okay it's really good i think the sensitivity is actually way better this time so that's the mega raptor weighs about the weight of four pigs that's kind of light um and is discovered in um what is this place south america all right nice let's just take a quick look at the um 3d figure let's go let's make it smaller yeah, beautiful. You can rotate rotate it like this. Tap on it. Yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, so there you go. We have two brand new figures, which is really, really awesome. Let's put the Mega Raptor right over here. The Iguanodon right over here. Let's proceed and take a look at more figures. The Ru Rugops Primers. I don't even know how to actually pronounce this. Okay, check this out. This is basically the Ferocious Pack. Flip it over, you're able to see the Atrociraptor. I think we already have the Atrociraptor, so yeah, we, we got another one. And um, yes, let's get this out. Rugops Primers. Is this out already? Wow, cool. Okay, let me research some facts of, I mean, for the Rugops Primers. Okay, so this is the Rugops Primus. I'm not too sure whether I've pronounced it correctly, but it is actually known as the Wrinkle Face. And um, it was a dinosaur that was discovered in Africa approximately 95 million years ago. Rugops Primus, I think. It looks like a... Um, oh, it's actually part of the um, Abel die family, which is, um, I think is somewhat, somewhat related to a Tyrannosaur. You can see it has two fingers. Okay, wrinkle face. Our very, very first um, Rugops primers. Rugops, it just sounds weird to me. Okay, so you can see it has a movable neck. There are some feathers across the neck, at the top of the head, as well as, um, you know, behind the eyes. Um, this jaw can be opened very smoothly, which is um, great. You are able to move the tiny little arms. It reminds me of, um, I mean, this, this, this arms actually remind me of um, the, the arms of a T-Rex because they are so small. Uh, you can see some feathers at the back, which is awesome. Um, what is this? There's like a toe claw right at behind, which looks kind of cool. And um, yeah, and here's a code for you to scan in your Fax app, okay? Okay, so let's scan the, um, the Rugops primers. Let's try this to see, you know, whether it's still as... I mean, wow, the scanning is really has improved so much, um, you know, than the previous um, versions, I guess. So, Rugops primers, quick facts. The weight of two pigs um, discovered in the um, Africa region. So, nice about that. Let's go back. Just a quick look on the um, AR feature. Okay, just a very quick look. There you go, a tiny little Rugops. Uh, let's tap down on it. 
yeah pretty cool really love the feathering that they have done on this figure okay all right so this is known as the rinker face <laughs> very cool very cool nickname let's go okay next one let's take a look at the um baby nasudo ceratops which is um very very um cute looking so the Nasudo Ceratops was also seen in the movie Jurassic World Dominion In case that you guys do not know um, Dr. Ali Settler was like touching the baby Nasudo Ceratops I mean from next week onwards I'll definitely be talking about the movie So there will be lots of spoilers So yeah just let you guys know but not for today Okay so let's get this out Baby Nasudo Ceratops looks so adorable Alright so check this out, Nasudo Ceratops, the horns are still kind of um, tiny for a little baby. You're able to um, rotate the entire head, you're able to move it up and down like this. You can see the paint work on this head is actually sort of like printed. I don't think this is hand painted, they are all like machine printed, but very nice. You're able to move um, all four legs I suppose. You can't move them sideways, the tail can be rotated, the small little tail can be rotated. Beautiful paint job on the face. You can see like um, uh, a very light orange at the bottom of the head. The eyes are so beautifully painted as well. I love the blue splash of paint on the crown. Okay, looks really beautiful. All right, so this is basically the code for you guys to scan in your fax app. Let's scan this as well. Just a quick scan. Let's see whether you're able to scan it. Yeah, we got it this time. Okay, so Nasudo Ceratops, let's see where. Um, you can actually find it. This is basically like um, North America, right? Uh, yeah, the weight of a cow. And um, it's a herbivore, for sure. Just a very quick look at the AR. Just a quick look. There you go. All right. All right. We actually have an adult Nasudo Ceratops, so let's do a very quick comparison. Okay, so this is actually where the um, adult Nasudo Ceratops is sitting. So Nasudo Ceratops was also seen in um, the Battle at Big Rock as well as our um, Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, so this is basically the Nasudo Ceratops adult version and this is actually the um, baby version. Okay, so you can see the horns will, I mean eventually they will grow into this two really powerful and um, intimidating horns, okay? Which is very, very useful in, when it comes to battles, okay? So let's move on to the next one. Let's take a look at the um, Sinoceratops, which one, uh, I think this is a really, really beautiful one as well. Okay, Sinoceratops. Hopefully the feet are not, um, yes, the feet are actually, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, tied to the bottom of the box, which is, I don't like I don't like that, so we need to get it out. Okay, the Sinoceratops is out, but not the tail. So let's just cut this loose and um, take the tail out. All right, and um, let's pop the tail in. It's a very interesting color. You can see it's like green and mixed with um yellow. Let's remove this. Hopefully, you know this one will raw. Let's you know let's um examine the um. Ross first. Okay, fortunately, you know, because I'm having like phobia that my all my figures will not be able to roar. Okay, very beautiful Sinoceratops. This was definitely much heavier than um, the previous Sinoceratops, I think, because this is actually a raw striker. So similarly, it has a um, similar function. You're able to, oops, the tail is not like properly fit in. So you're able to rotate the tail. You're able to move the hind legs, the front legs as well. Um, the head can be moved only if you do this Okay, so yeah Beautiful Sinoceratops Let's take a look at the code You guys can actually pause the video and scan this Let's scan this as well So let's go Okay, let's scan this You know, this time the um, sensitivity of the scanning function is actually way better So it's so much easier for us to scan so there you go, it's discovered in, um, what is this part? I think this is also Africa if I'm not wrong. The weight of a car. So let's go back. Take a look at the AR feature. Just a very quick look. Beautiful. Beautiful Sinoceratops. Okay, let's do a very quick comparison with the uh, other Sinoceratops. So let's go. Okay, right over here are sitting like two Sinoceratops. 
both are actually from the um, Cam Cretaceous series. So I don't think we have any space to put our Sonoceratops. So we will definitely be putting our Sonoceratops along with the other um, Dominion herbivores, okay? Okay, so um, here are basically the um, two older Sonoceratops. So let's just do a comparison. In terms of the sculpt, they are exactly the same, but these two are basically the um, raw attacks. Okay, you basically twist the tail, it will raw, so they are very sensitive. So sometimes they will even raw on their own, like in the shelves, which is kind of like scary sometimes. Because, you know, the slightest touch on the tail will actually trigger the raws, okay? So in terms of the um, coloration, I would say that this one is definitely a uh, very cool one. But you can see it no longer has um, the patterns on its body over here. But instead, um, the patterns are actually at the back of the body. So if you ask me, I definitely prefer the patterns to be um, you know, on this portion because it, it looks better. And you can see there is also a reduction in the, the pain scheme when it comes to the face. So for the previous one, you're able to see like, you know, a base color, which is green. You can also find some orange patterns and some like white patterns, okay? But for this, you can only find like, you know, you know a single coat of um, color over here, which is kind of disappointing. So in terms of the coloration, I would definitely say that the two previous Sinoceratops are better. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Okay, the next one is actually this um, Jurassic World Dominion Dimatrodon. So in case that you guys do not know, the Dimatrodon will, will be um, in the movie and there are actually plenty of um, Dimatrodons and they are all in the shades of like red and green. So this one is definitely quite accurate when it comes to the, um, um, the coloration. Okay, so this is basically, what is this? This is known as the um, Ferocious Pack, okay? Ferocious Pack, the Matrodon. So, yeah, there's basically no actions for this. You have to turn them manually. You can rotate the head, um, the jaw, the legs can be uh, moved, the tail can be rotated as well, okay? So this is basically the code for you guys to scan. I think we have also missed out the, the Sinoceratops, so let's scan this together as well. So the Matrodon, okay? The Matrodon for you guys. Next one, Sinoceratops. Let's scan the scan. Let's scan the Sinoceratops first. Let's do this together. Oh, we have already done that. Oh dear. I didn't know we have already done that. Or was that? Um, no, I don't think so. What? Let's try this again. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so Sinoceratops, I think, I thought it was supposed to be discovered in China. Oh, we have actually scanned the Sinoceratops already just now, okay? But I've, I think it's okay. We are able to, uh, I mean, let's scan the Dimetrodon right now, okay? So let's go. Yeah, sometimes it takes a long time. So you can see we have having the same issue again. Yeah, there you go. Dimetrodon. I think Dimetrodon was discovered in North America, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, North America. The weight of a pig. It's kind of light, right? And here is the um, basically the 3D figure. All right. Um, I think now it's time for us to take a look at this for brand new Wave 2 um, uncaged wild pop props. I think they are very, very adorable. So let's take a look at them. Um, this is basically a Troceraptor ghost. Uh, wow, how do we actually remove this zip lock, zip tie? It's not, uh, it's not easy, okay? So let's try this. Let's try this. Oh man, it's kind of um, hot. So you need to be really careful not to cut the dinosaur. Yeah, let's do one more little piece to be caught. Wow, let me just pull it up. Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Okay, so this is basically a Troceraptor ghost. And um, this is known as the Wow Pop-Ups. So let's try this. Okay, let me just re remove the legs. 
I mean not remove the legs, adjust the legs properly so you can actually do this. Yeah, the eyes will actually close when you um, pushes it down like this. So it's, it's very cool. It's definitely an improvement from the snap squat. Um, the snap squat, you can only like, you know, open and close the jaw, whereas this, you can actually close um, the eyes, which are very, very nice. So this is basically a Trociraptor ghost. We also have the um, Morus Intrepidus, which is um, quite a small little dinosaur. So let's try to um, get this out I'm gonna remove this from the back. I think it's gonna be easier and safer so we don't cut the dinosaur. Morus Intrepidus, which is known as the Harbinger of Doom. Okay, so beautiful. You can see it has a very nice mix of colors orange and um, turquoise. So if you push it down, the eyes will actually close. Awesome stuff. And um, here is the um, Therizinosaurus, which is awesome because. We, we have another Therizinosaurus into our collection. So when we do another update on the collection video, this one will definitely be in the video. Therizinosaurus known as the Scythe Lizard. In the movie, the Therizinosaurus is actually a very, very powerful dinosaur. Uh, I, I, loved, I loved the battle scene. Yeah, check this out. Wow. Okay, very cute, very adorable, beautiful colors. I actually love the colors of the Therizinosaurus the most in all the new Jurassic World Dominion um, series. And this is the Giga. Okay, let's release this first. And um, open this. Yep, so we have another brand new Giga in our collection, okay? I'm gonna bring down um, the four little pop-ups, uh, wild pop-ups that we have from the Uncaged to show you guys, okay? Oh, okay. Why is this like locked already? Ah, okay. You can actually lock them. I didn't know that. That's nice. I didn't know you can actually lock them in the um, closed eye kind of um, pose. Wow, now I know. Nice. Very nice. So is this how you actually um, operate them? Do you like press it down once more and they will just pop up or what? How do we actually make it pop? Do you open a jaw? Just bring it down I guess. Let's try this. Yeah. You basically lock it first and you press it once more it will just spring up. Okay, so these are the four new ones. Let me show you guys the last four one, okay? Okay, we are now at the mini dinosaur shelf. So these are basically the four, you know, previous wild pop-ups. We have the um, blue, we have um, T-Rex, we have the Lophosaurus, and we also have the Conotaurus. So I've actually left a small little space right here for the new um, four wild pop-ups. So yeah. So guys, we have finished reviewing all the new Wave 2 figures, which I'm super happy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Alright, um, I will see you guys in the next one. And let me know down below where I should be keeping, you know, my new Iguanodon and my new Ampelosaurus. Should we put them together with the um, older um, Herbie Vars or should we place them in, you know, this area with the new Jurassic World Dominion Herbie Vars? Because we're kind of like running out of space, so... Let me know down below, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.